Back in the 1960s, a lot of hotels were built in Bangkok to accommodate the American GIs who chose to take their R&R &R here in Thailand, mostly in Bangkok. Um, it was a totally different city back then, but some of the hotels that were built at the time still remain. One of them is this one, the Malaysia Hotel. You can get a room here now for under $30, under $30 a night. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Uh, so I'm just one person staying here. I get a, I guess, queen size, king size bed, whatever. Then there's a small bed there. <laughs> Don't need it. Um, beautiful view. Look at the beautiful view I have. Wow, amazing, right? That's actually not that bad. By the way, that 7-Eleven down there, that used to be a bar, a bar called the Blue Fox Bar. Um, kind of an infamous bar, I guess. I think it was one of the first bars ever opened up by a USGI. Um, they had two boxes in there. There were lots of uh, ladies just hanging around looking for a uh, company. Back in the old days, now it's just a 7-Eleven. Unfortunately, much, much less colorful. There's the watercolor painting. That's a great temple you should visit in Bangkok. You'll see it on every list. It's got air conditioning. It's got a TV. It's got the signature yellow refrigerator. I wonder how many things in here are actually original. Like, I can see this desk being from the 1960s. You know, the armoire, I'm not really sure. Definitely the Wi-Fi is not from the 60s. And the aircon. Don't know if it had aircon in the 60s. But um, there's the bathroom. You know, there it is. I don't really want to give a proper tour. Just thought I would document my stay here. Pretty cool to be staying in an old historic um, hotel. I mean, it's not that old and it's not that historic, but it's got an interesting history, as does the neighborhood outside, although much like how the 7-Eleven replaced um, an interesting bar, uh, this area has gotten significantly less interesting than it used to be. But um, anyway, that's it. Come stay at the Malaysia Hotel. It's um, You can get a motorbike taxi to the... MRT subway for 40 baht unless they're ripping me off and uh, in which case I should only be paying 20 baht but I don't really care I'm not gonna nickel and dime I'm not gonna bot and satang the uh, moto side drivers anyway that's it Malaysia Hotel